In this video, let's discuss methods of payment. There's the objective. So here are the four methods of payment that we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about each one. The first method we're going to talk about is checks. Now there are some advantages and disadvantages. I've only listed a few of each. Let's talk about the advantages. What's nice about checks is you can send them in the mail, right? I can send a check to pay off a bill. Your grandmother can send you a check for your birthday. Now, it oftentimes includes a ledger in the checkbook. This is just a little booklet that you can record uh, who you wrote a check for, how much, on what date, so that you can keep track of your money. And checks can be traced because they have all these little numbers and stuff on them, so you can kind of figure out where they are. Some disadvantages. There might be some fees, right? At some places, if you want to use a check, they might charge you. Um, because they, I mean, they're going to have to take that check to the bank and cash it and that sort of thing. You've got to pay for your own checks. The bank doesn't just send them to you for free. So you have to purchase them. And they have to be completed. So anytime you want to use it, there's a few lines and stuff that you have to write on. It doesn't take very long, but you know it's certainly not as quick as using another method. Let's talk credit cards. Now, one big advantage is that you're essentially borrowing money. I mean, technically we could put that on the disadvantage too, but let's leave it over here on the advantage. If you're in a pickle, you really need some money and you don't have it in the bank, credit card will allow you to borrow money. That's essentially what you're doing is you're borrowing money from the credit card company. You can buy stuff now. All right. That doesn't mean I'm not saying, hey, use a credit card because you want to go buy a video game. I'm saying maybe there's a, a medical emergency, right? And so you don't have that kind of cash on you, but you need to take care of the medical emergency. Well, a credit card might help you out right now. Credit cards are accepted in most places, and it can be traced, right? To it's basically assigned to you. Your the number on the credit card belongs to you. So if someone else uses your card. That number can be traced. Some disadvantages. Remember, you're borrowing money from someone else, from another, from a company. They're not going to give you that money for free. They're going to charge you some fees, usually very high fees. And there's probably some interest. So if you borrow some money, let's say you spend $100 on their card, and you don't pay that off, then they're going to charge you interest. So now instead of a hundred, you owe them a hundred twenty-one dollars. And if you don't pay it off the next time, it's gonna be even more. And it's risky online. Right? There are a lot of smart people out there, a lot of crooked people, and so they know how to steal credit cards and credit card numbers, and they can uh, use that to buy a bunch of stuff for themselves. Basically steal from your credit card. Debit card, very similar to a credit card, but notice our picture. I like this picture because it gives you that little, that little, uh, little silver scanning Cody thing there. All right, so advantages of a debit card. It's money from your bank. You're basically using this piece of plastic to say, hey, you can take money directly from my bank. This will come out of my um, account. This is my money. I'm just using a card to give it to you. It's very easy to use. A lot of people have debit cards now. It's accepted in most places and it can be traced again because of the number and the fact that it's a tied to your bank account. Some disadvantages, there may be a daily limit, right? The bank might put a limit on your debit card so that you can't go out and spend a crazy amount of money, right? There could be possible fees depending on where you use it. So if you want to use it at the grocery store and get some money back, they may charge you a fee. And again, it's also risky online because people can steal your, your number and use that. And then electronic payment. So I would say electronic payment technically could be either credit card or debit card because it's something that you're going to do online. All right, so let's think electronic payment is something that you do online. So advantages, well, you use it online, right? The internet is great and we have connections to all kinds of stuff now. It's very quick. 
type in a few numbers, boom, make the payment. Say Amazon. Uh, a lot of bills can be paid online now, so you can do that very quickly. You can set up a recurring payment. So like the electric bill can be paid every month and you don't have to worry about it. It just immediately comes off of your card. And it can be traced, again, because we're talking about credit cards or debit card. Disadvantages, well, again, you still have, may have a daily limit. There still could be fees, depending on where you're using it. And since it's online, that could be risky.